thoughts about the game a little bit quick. Um, if you're a fan, <laughs> you want to watch a good basketball game, that was a really good game. It was, uh, both teams were going back and forth, making uh, shot after shot after shot. Um, you know, I, I just didn't think we had a lot of juice early. But, you know, <clears throat> when things aren't when things aren't going your way, um, you just gotta keep fighting. Just, just hang in there. First half was very similar to our SMU game. But um, our guys are fighters. I think we've established a culture here where you know we just don't give in to anything. We just kind of hang in there, um, keep fighting, uh, and, and keep looking for something. You know, the, you know, we had a hard time with the man-to-man. Um, good win and, and uh, loss, and those two guys are outstanding. The thing that makes good ones so good is that he, he, can, he can drive it, he can post it, he can pass it, and he can make free throws. That's, that's, all, that's a good combination. And, um, you know, and there's, there's, certain ti- there's certain times where uh, you, you can tell we need Rob Gray, because he's one of those guys who go get you 25. Uh, and that's where in the first half, we needed somebody to, to make some baskets. And, and, uh, but, you know, we just, we just kept fighting and, and hanging in there. And in the second half, you know, coming into the game, the game plan was to get the ball to Devontae and have him drive Goodwin. But Goodwin did a good job defending in the first half. Um, and then we just, just kept moving him around with our different sets. You know, we pick and pop, we pick and roll, we throw behind, throw it in. Um, get him on the elbow, turn and face. Uh, but Devontae has, has really fallen in love with the game of basketball. Um, you know, I, I, I can tell his maturity and how far he's come as, as a uh, player and as a person by how much time he spends in the gym now. Um, just really proud of him. He's, he de- he's developed into an outstanding leader. Um, he's one of those kids that you just love to coach. Just love to coach and be around. And, you know, this game like tonight is, you know, when he's going like that, we're going to get the ball to him as much as we can. Questions, please? Kelvin, I think the number I'm looking at, you know, we shot three three-pointers in the second half, and you were 20-25 from the line in the second half. Just <laughs> recognizing like, the, what Devontae is doing, and then Galen seemed to be, dri- Galen seemed to be put, driving a lot. Yeah. Well, you know, we put our, our, our wings are always deep in the corners, and that, that first of all, gives him space. And, and it opens up our spaces. Um, but if Devontae got doubled, you know, once they started doubling, then we knew we had driving lanes. But, but I said, uh, we, I, I didn't necessarily say I don't want threes, but that's certainly not going to be the first option. You know, I think I, I can't remember who it was that shot an early three, and I think I snatched it, not because he missed it, because he didn't follow instructions. You know, I'm not talking to myself. But the, uh, the game plan is real simple. You know, we were going to go to him just like you could tell what their game plan was. I mean, they've got two really good bigs. That Lawson kid's a load. The Jack is uh, really good, too. But, you know, the unsung hero of this team tonight was uh, Laurent Barnes. He, he made the baskets that when they started creeping away from us, he made those big baskets that kept us in it. Uh, Three-point play, a uh, couple big threes. And then we ran our stuff, you know, we kept uh, running some misdirection stuff, and then we finished with a pin down, and Dot would come off the pin down and just knock it on that free throw line jumper. But I thought our offensive execution tonight was great. But the, um, um, the attention to detail was good. But the, the bottom line is, I mean, Devontae, Devontae made, made shots. You know? He's good enough to make those shots. You know, they banked on a three in the first half, uh, which kind of punctuated how things were going for us. And then Devontae kind of uh, falling down and, and chunked one in uh, down there. But, but, you know, we still was minus one in that exchange. Coach, coming out of the second half, I think Shaq went until the second time out before he got a, uh, got a shot up and got a point. Then he only gets five, five in the second half, but he scores 19 in the First, what did you all? What did you talk Just about? Earlier, you know, we, we went in and said that we're going to start guarding him at half court because er, the first half we're running side by side with him, and then all of a sudden he's a tennis catcher. It's too late. You, you, you got to get your work early done. Your, your uh, get, get your work done early against a good post guy. So that's why I put Bird in there. 
I said, Bert, I want you to foul it with your chest. You can't hit him with your arm, you can't extend your, at the uh, elbow, but you can hit him with your chest. So we just started guarding him uh, at half court. We're going to body him all the way up, down the block. It just, just made it harder for him to get it. He didn't get as many opportunities. Um, you know, Devontae turned in the world be free. You know, he, just, <laughs> he scored to their national return. I scored that short turn. He started going world be free with Lawson. He scored and let Lawson score. I said, Devon, is there anything you can do to stop him? Uh, I, I think I can uh, try a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's kind, of, it's kind of like James. You know, James looked at me one night and said, what, you want, what, Where do you want it? You want it down at this end or this end? I can't, can't. You know, I'm not going to give it to you both then. I guess, I, I guess Devontae picked the right end to give it to us. You only had eight turnovers total for this game. That speaks huge on what's being done in practice toward the guard play, guys value and possession. Just yeah, no, we have very good discipline. But, you know, it's, it takes a while to develop all of this. You know, our, our, we have a good team. I, you know, I, I've said this all along. You know, we, we have a good team. Um, but we're not machines. <coughs> These other teams are good, too. We got outplayed against a really good team on Sunday that was de desperate. Um, but I like the way we bounce back tonight. You know, we're, we've got, a, uh, I, I don't even know, what is our record? 17 7 You know, we're 17 and 7, 7 and 5 in the league. And all we have is an opportunity on Saturday. Um, game Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. Game Saturday, we got a chance to be uh, 18 and 7 and 8 and 5, and we just go from there. You know, we, uh, we're we pretty, our, our kids are pretty good at, at, at sitting down and, and uh, figuring out. Um, what it is we have to do to win the game? You know, uh, not having Rob Gray, there's an emphasis on other things. Um, but I, I just like the maturity that this team has. You know, our discipline has been really good. Um, Gail, I thought Gavin Robinson was good. Dot was good offensively. Uh, LeBron, you know, I just have so much respect for that young man. Uh, Devontae was, you know, he might have been the best player in the conference tonight. Are they further along than what you thought they'd be when the season started and conference play started? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Are, are you playing better than you thought maybe you would? No, not necessarily. Uh, I thought we had a good team. You know, um, and we beat LSU in December, so I think they're leading the SEC right now. So, I mean, we're, we've been a good team, but what we've done is, is get tighter. We, we've got more solid. We're not as loose. But, you know, we have a freshman point guard. You know, our leading scorer is out. Uh, Devontae is, is taking on the role of the leader. He's the leader in this program right now. Uh, but all these things have to come together. And as far as it's better than I thought, I always think we're going to be good. Devontae, tell me about your mindset, especially in that second half. What were you, what were you saying? How were you doing? Uh, you know, I was just, my whole mindset was coming out of the locker room was, Whatever I gotta do to help my team get this win, that's you know, that's what I was gonna do. You know, if it if it called for, you know, me to just do everything on the defense end and just not worry about offense at all, then that's what it was gonna be. If it was gonna be, you know, I had to make big shots or I had to make shots, then that's what it was gonna be. But whatever I had to do to help my team get this victory, that was my mindset. Devontae, what did you do to the last month or so kind of keep things going and when you kind of had your highs and your lows, but how did you keep things going to where when Coach came up to you and said, hey, we're going to even I so you can think, oh, you know, I'm going to fuck with anything like that. Right. I mean, I didn't, I didn't get too overwhelming or anything. You know, I just stayed with my family, just came to stay in the gym, you know, just kept working on my game. And I felt like, I felt like I worked on my game long enough and hard enough to, you know, to be able to do what I did tonight. And when Coach, you know, when he came and or whenever he made that statement, you know, I didn't look at it as, well, I didn't even have the mindset to come in the game and, you know, have 34 points. I just knew the ball was going to be in my hand and I was going to be the one, you know, to be able to make the right play. And the play tonight was, you know, they just kept giving me the shots that I felt comfortable with and I was able to knock them down. If I think, oh, we, go ahead, Joseph. What about that shot there in front of the bench where the team was double teamed? I don't know how to describe it. Is it well, he doesn't either. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's poking hope. Chuck and Doug. Yeah, I caught the ball and I heard the, I heard the bench, McKell and uh, Eric Young behind the same shot clock. And I looked at the shot clock, it was like five seconds 
on the shot clock, and I just got to peek at the rim and let it go. Sebastian, do you let your, when you're going on a roll like you had in that second half, are you, are you letting yourself, into, are you thinking, man, this is really fun, this is, I'm just having a blast, or are you thinking play to play, it's like, I got to get here and get my position, I got to get down here and do this, and so what's, the, kind of, what's the thought process as you're going through this? Uh, after I made about four or five shots, coming back down on offense, when I knew, you know, the play was coming back to me at the same spot where I had just knocked down a jumper, I, you know, the thing that was going through my mind was, really, to be honest, if, I don't even know what I was thinking. I was just going to react off the defense. If he gave it to me, gave me a shot again, I was going to take it. If he closed out on me too close, I was going to drive by and, you know, look and make plays for my teammates or score if they gave it to me. So the big picture is you, as you go down the stretch here, you guys are positioned a first round by that skill. Do you look at that in terms of long term goals, you know, that you have to What is the, um, I, I don't even know how to set up. I think the, the last out. 14 plays, play, uh, well, since SMU's not in it, the last 14 will play on the, the first day and then the two. That's so, not right. Yeah, the last four. Even there, does somebody get a buy? So the, mm-hmm. the six of these are in top six. Top six. So there's two games on the first day? I'm going to